Hi everyone! Are you ready to take the math challenge today? Today's question of the day is actually adapted from the 2016 SCGS prelim examination. So now let's take a look at the question, shall we? A minion was trying to escape from a raging dragon and jumped into a huge sea. For every right stroke that it used to swim, it moved 2 meters further away from the dragon. And for every wrong stroke, it floated backwards and moved 1 meter closer to the dragon. The minion got 1 sixth of the strokes wrong. How many strokes did the minion use if it was 90 meters away from the dragon in the end? Can you figure that out? Well, this sounds like a lot of info, right? But don't worry, we'll learn how to solve it together today, okay? So usually when we look at any math question in the exam or in your test, we need to take note of three main things. The first one that you need to take note of is actually who do we have? Okay, how many characters are being mentioned in the question? Here we have the minion, okay, as well as the dragon. So we have two main characters. Next, we need to look at what items are we dealing with. In this question, the minion is actually trying to escape from the dragon, right? So it escapes by swimming. And the item that we are actually facing here would be, okay, in the first sentence, we actually have the C, but the C is not very important in this question. Okay, the second item would be the strokes. Okay, so what exactly is a stroke? The strokes are actually your hand movement when you swim, okay? So here, we have two types of strokes. Okay, the right one and the wrong one. Okay, lastly, we need to also think about what is the relating topic? So by relating topic, I mean by looking at the figures, the numbers, what can I tell? Here, we see 2 meters, 1 meter, 90 meters. Meter is actually the unit that is used to measure distance, right? So it has something to do with distance. And then over here, we have 1 6. Okay, this is obviously a fraction. So the entire question has something to do with distance and something to do with fractions. Okay, so far so good. So after getting a brief idea of what the whole question is about, we also need to find out what is the question that we are going to solve. Okay, and we can do this by reading the last sentence of the problem sum. The last sentence in this sum reads, how many strokes did the minion use if it was 90 meters away from the dragon in the end? Okay, so now we know what we are supposed to find. We are supposed to find the number of strokes. So this is the part whereby you can choose to pause the video and try the question out yourself or you can follow along. It's your call. Okay, here's the exciting part. Now that we are done the warm up, Let's just dive into the question and understand what each sentence is trying to tell us, okay? So the first sentence, a minion was trying to escape from a raging dragon and jump into a huge sea. So this is fairly simple to understand. If you were chased by a flame-blowing dragon, you will probably run away too because you don't want to be barbecued alive. Next, for every right stroke that it used to swim, it moved 2 meters further away from the dragon and for every wrong stroke, it floated backwards and moved one meter closer to the dragon. For this part, let's break up this super long sentence into two separate pieces, okay? So for every right stroke that the minion uses, it moves two meters away. Okay, this means that for every correct stroke, the minion moves forward. And then for every wrong stroke, it floats backwards and moves one meter closer to the dragon. So now, what happens is it changes its directions and now move towards the dragon. Let's move on to the next sentence now. The minion got one six of the strokes wrong. So what does this one six mean to us? This means that for every six strokes that the minion swims, one of them would be wrong. Okay, and what can we tell from it? Earlier on, we know that for every right stroke, it actually moves two meters away, correct? So for six continuous strokes, we'll see something like this. For the first stroke, the minion moves two meters. Okay, and then for the second stroke, it moves two more meters. 
and then the third stroke, fourth stroke, and fifth stroke. Okay, and after that, we realize that we cannot stop here, right? Because we need a total of six strokes. Now is the time whereby we have to think. If the minion were to take one more stroke, would the stroke be a correct one or a wrong one? Will it move forward by two meters or will it move backward by one meter? Okay, the sentence here says that it will get one stroke wrong okay, out of every six strokes. So we know that the next stroke or rather the six stroke that it takes must be a wrong stroke. Okay, so the minion moves backwards by one meter. So what do we know from here? We know that for every six stroke that the minion takes, it actually travels a distance of 9 meters away from the dragon. Okay, and how do we know that? Because we take 2 plus 2, plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Okay, so, so the minion travels 10 meters in all forward. Okay, and then it floats backwards by 1 meter. So 10 minus 1, I will get 9 meters. So far, so good. Okay, now we have come to the last part of the question. We need to solve for how many strokes did the minion used if it was 90 meters away from the dragon in the end. So we need to solve for the number of strokes that the minion used. What we know so far is that in the end, okay, finally, overall, it managed to travel 90 meters away okay, from the dragon. What we need to do is to find how many groups of 6 strokes there are in 90 meters. Okay, and how exactly do we do that? We need to take 90, which is the total distance traveled, okay, divided by 9, which is the distance traveled for every 6 strokes. Okay, so 90 divided by 9, we will get 10. We now know that there are 10 groups of 6 strokes in 90 meters. To find out the number of strokes in 90 meters, we just have to take this 10 times 6, okay? Because we know that in one group, there are 6 strokes. So if we have 10 groups, we have 10 times 6, which gives us a total of 60 strokes in all. Yes, we have finally solved the question. Thank you for watching our video and if you'd like to try out more interesting questions, please feel free to visit us at practical.sg. Alternatively, you may want to join our Facebook community at the following address. See you next time. Bye!